your eyes out for me. Come on, just lift your hands. Close your eyes. I'm not going to stand you long, but we're in a moment. We're in a moment. We are in a moment right now where the power of God, the anointing is strong. Come on, if you need healing in your body, I want you to get it now because we may not, there may not be a, a, a healing in the living service today. Come on, I want you to see you through worship today. The praise and worship team has ministered unto the Lord. Now the Lord wants to minister unto you. Come on, come on, come on. If you need healing in your body, I want you to put your hand wherever you need ready to decree and declare healing by the power of the living God. I lose healing now. Now, now, now be healed. Pain, go away now. We speak to the root of it now. As you worship, as you worship, as you worship, be healed. Be delivered. Be set Come on, receive it by faith. Receive strength in your body. We lose strength in your body. In the name of Jesus. If you need peace, I dare you to worship. If you need peace of mind today, I dare you to worship. I dare you to praise Him. Don't miss this moment. This isn't church as usual. Don't miss this moment. Don't wait for the altar call. The altar is right where you are. Come on, there's deliverance in your praise. It's in your praise. It's in your praise. It's in your praise. It's in your praise. Let everything, let everything. Right. 
don't let the devil steal your praise. Don't let him come on this stuff on this head, right where you are. Right, those of you who are sitting down, standing up, come on. That's been the problem. Even if you're sitting down, that stuff on the devil's head. Let him know I'm still going to praise God anyway. Yeah, that ain't close up. When the devil can keep you silent. Come on, step on his head. Now, come on, I want you to get in the faith now. I want you to get in the spirit. Yeah, that ain't close shot. Come on.
I want you to get this today. To get this today. How many of you all are in transition? Anybody in transition? For real, let me let me let me see. Anybody? Okay, some of y'all are not in transition, but you need to be in transition. So I want to talk to those who are in transition. You're in the middle of making a major move. You're thinking about making a move, but don't know what to do. You're stuck. You're idle. You in a dry place and you can't move. I'm gonna talk to you too. I want to talk to you today about it's time to bust a move. Tell your neighbors, time to bust a move. Come on, prophesy to them. Tell them you, you gotta move. You gotta move. It's time to bust a move. Time to bust a move. Oh, yes. Hey, gosh. Time to bust a move. Again, some of us are in transition. We are already making plans. Mm -hmm. yes. Some of us know that we've got to do something different, but we can't move. Mm -hmm. We're paralyzed. Some of us are comfortable in Lola Bar. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. we're, we're comfortable. Okay, come on. Where nothing is happening and we like it. But it's time to move. We're going to read something, and as we read it, you're going to catch revelation from you reading it because the Holy Ghost is going to illuminate the scriptures to you as you read. And as we read it, and then we'll just come back and expound that way we save a lot of time. Is that all right? Genesis 11 and 31. And then we're going to read in 12, and we're going to read a little bit in 13. Genesis 11, 31. If you have it, shout, I got it. I got it. And Terah took Abram, his son. For those of you who are writing notes, I want you to write down that, that name there, Terah, Terah, however you pronounce it. Write down, delay. Delay. His name in the Hebrew means delay. Now, this, this is going to come back in the sermon. Delay. And Terah, who was this father, who was all about delay and procrastination, took Abram, his son. That's revelation that now. Who's leading you? Come on now. Right. And he took a lot. The son of Haran, his son's son, and Sarai, his daughter-in-law, his son, Abram's wife. Watch this. And they went forth with them from Or of the Chaldees to go to go into the land of Canaan. They were supposed to be going to the land of Canaan. That was their wealthy place where they were supposed to be going. But they came unto Haran, and what happened? They stayed there. Remember this now. Somebody shout delay. Delay. They're supposed to have been going to Walmart Supercenter where they can get all the stuff. Uh -huh. But they decided to go to the Knickknacks uh, gas station where they only have a few items and one loaf of bread. Uh -huh. <laughs> they didn't reach their goal where they supposed to have been where the blessing was. Uh -huh. They settled in a place of mediocrity. Uh -huh. mm. Somebody shout delay. delay. And the days of Terah were 205 years. Watch this. And Terah, he died mm -hmm. in Haran. The leader, the father, who was the one pushing them to their purpose, per se.